Jess Tatiravas is back in our lives, and in case you missed it, last night saw Rihanna in Kira with the worst tattoo in the show's history. I'm still howling. Here's our faves, Charlotte and Scotty T, to break it down. This is one I found the most hilarious. Basically, the story behind the tattoo was uh, this girl went in the night out and herself. So her mate decided to get a portrait of the girl who had a on the girl who had a back of her having a it was quite a sexy one until you saw that it was poo coming out. Putting our leg up, it's a bit sexy, but then, but then the I, but poo then... just ruins it a little bit. Oh, and it's in deep Unless you're into that kind of thing. For me, that was the funniest one. one yeah, that was funny. Ones. Ariana Grande has revealed the reason behind her split from Mac Miller. Up until recently, the pop songstress was dating the rapper for two years and now fans' hearts are breaking everywhere. So much so that they have even blamed her for his recent arrest, with one tweeting, Mac Miller totaling his G-Wagon and getting a DUI after Ariana Grande dumped him for another dude after he poured his heart out on a 10-song album to her called The Divine Feminine. It's just the most heartbreaking thing happening in Hollywood. Of course, that didn't go down well with our girl Ari as she fired back saying, how absurd that you minimize female self respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship because he wrote an album about them. Which, by the way, isn't the case. She continued, I'm not a babysitter or a mother and no woman should feel that they need to be. I have cared for him and tried to support his sobriety and prayed for his balance for years and always will, of course. But shaming slash blaming women for a man's inability to keep his together is a very major problem. Let's please stop doing that. Well said, Ari, well said. After the split, the No Tears Left to Cry singer had made quite a soppy post about her ex, saying she adored him and called him one of her best friends. Who knows what the future holds for those two little lovebirds, but we'll be sure to keep an eye on it. Kim Kardashian West only lets her children play in one room of the entire house. I know what you're thinking. How bizarre. The house which boasts 15,667 square feet and eight full bedrooms and two half bedrooms, whatever that means, is pretty big and spacious for the family of five. But Kim has already said no, no, no to her kids having free reign at the house and only get one room instead. Spilling the beans on her site, KimKardashianWest.com, the reality star said, our home decor taste tends to be minimal and modern, but the kids' playroom is the one room in the house where I let them run wild. By the time they're done there, they have no desire to take a pen to our white furniture, LOL. The family home has been kept off limits, so the keep up with the Kardashian cameras, but thanks to Kanye West being back on Twitter recently, we have been able to have a sneak peek inside their Hidden Hills mansion. Nice one, Kanye. Hey guys, my name's Zach Fox, and here at MTV News, we've updated our privacy policy. Just click here to stay in touch. Oh, for crying out loud, seriously? What is going on? And why is my email inbox blowing up faster than a bouncy castle? Let me explain. All this fuss is being caused by GDPR. Oh, okay, let me explain some more. And how it affects you. GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. And it's a brand new law that comes into effect today that has been designed to revamp how much control you, as an individual, have over your delicious, delicious information, as well as some other good things. In other words, it's a regulation to help protect your data generally. Okay? This law replaces the ancient 1995 Data Protection Directive, which was designed in a world before aggressive data collection and targeted ads and digital profiling. Oh, thanks for everything, 1995. Now get out of here, you little scamp. GDPR really hits those companies that hold and process large amounts of consumer data, but every single company in Europe will be impacted. That's why you're receiving emails from every business you've ever walked near. Seriously, Cinnabon? A handful of mini rolls like five years ago, it was a tough time, okay? By the way, those other good things I mentioned earlier amount to regulators being able to work across the EU for the first time. And they will now have real teeth, with the maximum fine reaching 17.5 million pounds. This is all terrific, but it's taken a long time to get here. Seven whole years. To put that in perspective, that's the same amount of time it took Alexander the Great to conquer Persia, or Janet Jackson to record her album Unbreakable. So that'll help you wrap your head around that. But the good news doesn't stop there. All of these tech giants kneeling all humbly in your inbox, ooh, with their big doughy eyes, is just the start. You have the power to squeeze companies now like never before. If we all rise up and begin to take advantage of GDPR by withholding consent for certain uses of data or requesting access to our own personal information from data brokers or going right ahead and marching onto websites and deleting our information from them altogether, which we can now do, by the way, it could have massive consequences on the whole data industry. You don't have to. And you don't have to worry about responding to all these emails either. You can take a sigh of relief. The worst thing that can happen if you ignore them is you might receive a few less emails in the future. Boo blimmin' who. The point is that you now have more control. And in this day and age, that's something we could all do with a bit more of. 